all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I um, haven't done a video for a while and thought I need to use this time wisely. My husband has got my little girl for the day. Um, so I've managed to kind of get roughly a whole day's work done. And um, he's just gonna pop out and he's taking her for a walk. I think they've, she's gone off somewhere looking like Cinderella, which is quite cute. And I thought, you know what, let's use this time wisely. I've got my lunch break, I'm having a bit of a break from work, taking some time away from the screen to chat to you guys and see how you're all getting on. I think it's day 37, is it day 37 of lockdown? And I've wanted to do this video for one. I thought if I don't do this video now, there's no point because we're gonna be out of lockdown and that's really silly. Also, just to apologize, this is the first time I've done a video, um, kind of like with natural light directly from my window. Cause I just thought I'd see what it's like. And I look really like my highlighter is insane. <laughs> so I apologize. I look like I've got weird bits all over my face, but it is what it is. Hey, hey. Anyway, sorry, this, this video I've wanted to do for a, wait, for, for a while. Um, and it's our lockdown essentials, what we found really handy during this really, really difficult time. Uh, so we have a two and a half year old. I can't imagine how difficult it is for people who have kids and who have to homeschool, etc. I am finding this so difficult. She, with a two, I don't know if anybody else with a toddler of this age finds their attention span is just like a fish. So you give her something to do and it's literally, she just wants to play with it for five minutes and then she goes off and does something else and that makes your day incredibly, incredibly long. And also really difficult if you're trying to work at the same time. We have a policy at work where we can't actually look after children whilst we're working from home, which I quite understand because at her age, I mean, if older children, it's different, I suppose, but her age, I just wouldn't get any work done. So at the moment I'm, I'm getting up in the mornings, I'm getting ready, I'm logging on for half past six. I'll work until about nine, half past nine when Chris goes to work because he's still able to work at the moment. And then, um, I was logging on while she was napping. She's decided to drop her naps. Why? Why choose now? Why choose lockdown when I need the naps most? Anyway, she's now dropping her nap. So, but what I was doing was was um, was working for a few hours while she was napping, and then when Chris comes home from work, I'll I'll top up my hours in the, in the evening. What we've also done now is I've asked him. He doesn't work. There's one day a week where he takes off, and he has Holly one so that I can work a full day and not have to worry two for my sanity because it's so difficult it's really difficult I've had real ups and down days I've had days where I've just sobbed and sobbed and sobbed and I think these come every like I want to say like every other week I have a really bad few days where I'm really struggling um excuse the sniffing got a little bit of a cold as always um, so anyway, I thought I would kind of talk you through our lockdown essentials, really. First one I've put on, on my list here is good meals and good recipes and also some nice food. We are not eating out at the moment. I think we've had maybe like, we've had one takeaway, Domino's takeaway, uh, two actually. We had another one last night from our local fish and chip shop, which was lovely. In six weeks, that's not, that's not much, is it? So we're actually saving quite a lot of money. Um, food wise because we're not going out we're not socializing we're not going out buying drinks blah 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 uh, obviously our weekly shop is probably a little bit more than it would be um because we're eating every meal in here but also trying to make it exciting so my first tip would probably be some good recipes and some good meal plans things that excite you one to make that you find exciting to make and also something that you really can't wait to eat because I don't know about anybody else, but food, food and drink at the moment is the only thing that is making me excited. It's the only thing that could be different in your day, if that makes any sense, because days are the same. They're just rolling on and they're exactly the same, but different meal is, is exciting because it's not the same. So we've kind of, we've got a, um, a little meal plan thing on our fridge. We do this anyway because we need to budget our weekly food shop. Um, but yeah, we're, we're basically trying some different recipes. I think we've got we've got a bit of a boring normal spaghetti bolognese tonight. Um, I kind of did that in like a half Italian, half English accent. So I apologise. That was random. Uh, 
yeah so we've got that tonight we've got um we're trying a uh what have we what have we got on thursday a spinach uh sweet potato and chickpea curry that's it on thursday i'm gonna sneeze am i gonna sneeze <coughs> okay uh spinach and sweet potato curry on thursday which will be really nice and we're trying to eat a couple of meat free meals as well we're having a bit of a fake away on saturday so um we've bought a couple of pizzas and we're gonna have some chips with them uh and i can't remember what else we're having we're having a roast probably on sunday we had fajitas on monday last night we had our little takeaway as a bit of a treat so that's what we do and we try and we stick to um what we what we've got on our meal plan as much as we possibly can um we are spending a bit more money actually because holly wouldn't usually be here a lot in the day she'd be at my mum's um or she'd be at nursery and so we are feeding her as well for lunches which she generally doesn't usually have with us at home so we're spending a bit more but yeah my first tip would just be make exciting food find exciting meals and recipes um and i just think that's your little treat there aren't many treats we can have now is there so that's the little treat for the day <laughs> wine wine has been a lockdown essential we've uh we've we started off drinking oh my gosh so much more than we well, we normally would we don't really drink in the week we are probably weekend friday night saturday night sunday night drinkers um we generally don't drink anything in the week but as soon as lockdown started it was like okay let's drink let's drink every day and it generally turned out that we were drinking quite a lot every day so what we're trying to do now and i've put in an order for my good friend tom who owns a company called wise bartender which is he sells all alcohol free stuff and we put in an order for some sparkling wines um and i think a bottle of red and they're alcohol free because we just thought i just want to try i want to have something that feels like it's alcohol and tastes a bit like it's alcohol but try not to have so much to drink so that's what we've done. I'll put his um I'll put the link to his website actually in the description um down below and he's doing courier service at the moment. So if anybody would like some alcohol free stuff, give it a try. They do absolutely loads. They do beers, they do ciders, they do um an, a really nice actually. I had it before when I was pregnant years ago with Holly. Um it's like a it's a it's a prosecco. That was really nice. Um they do gins, I think they do cocktails now. So I'll put the link down below if you're interested, give them a go and um, order some stuff because it's yummy. But yeah, alcohol has been quite needed at times. Um, crafts, loads of loads of craft stuff is quite handy, but I've, what I found with Holly is um, it's been mainly paint. It's really tricky to find something for a two year old that she will just stick to and really enjoy playing with. If I've got paint out, it's it's gone straight on her hands and she's just shoving her hands everywhere. Um, mainly paint is the only thing that she really kind of sticks to. We bought yesterday though, and this is a massive, massive uh, tip for anybody who's got two and a half year old. If you haven't tried this stuff, it's incredible. Oh, how does, I can't, I pronounce it wrong, so hang on. Kinetic sand, that's it. I'm sure there are other... I'm sure there are other ones, but Kinetic, I think, is the main one. And I saw uh, a vlogger talk about it um, on their video, and I thought, I'm going to give this a go, and I ordered it on Amazon. It came the next day. I kid you not, she played with it for an hour and a half. An hour and a half. I mean, just insane. So um, that was that was pretty fantastic. So kinetic sand, I would definitely recommend um, anything that yeah, anything that two year olds can kind of enjoy doing. Your two year old might be great and and have the, a better attention span than mine, but Holly just really doesn't. She struggles baking. I didn't find fun at all. She just was like, she wants to just get her hands in everything. So that's why this sand is amazing because she literally can just get her hands in. It doesn't make that much of a mess either. It does. You can trail it across the room obviously and. But I found that it was quite easy to pick up and because it's bright colours you can see where it is so I picked that up and put it in. Um, any kind of craft stuff, we're enjoying that. Do you know what we found it really really amazing? The cheapest thing, well not the cheapest thing because there was something in the box that we actually bought to get the box. We bought Holly um, a, not a car seat, what's it called? A bike seat, that's it. 
because we were a little bit like, well, we're only, we're only walking. We're allowed to cycle, let's get her a bike seat. We wanted to get one anyway for the summer, so we thought let's get one and uh, we can go on bike rides with her. The box that it came in was huge, absolutely massive. And what Chris has done, he's actually made a castle out of the box that she can go into. She's decorated it with stickers, she's painted it a little bit, and every now and again when we've got nothing to do, um, we're probably gonna get the paints out and let her paint a little bit more, do a little bit more paint on it. So boxes, boxes are really good. I also saw somebody write something about um, doing like a marble run with um, toilet rolls, like cardboard toilet rolls, and cutting half of the toilet roll away. So you've almost got like a, like a gutter, like the guttering, and then sticking them all together and making turns and things, going all around the house, and then having a marble that the kids can run the marble through and it just runs down. So that would be quite fun. I think she'd probably really enjoy that. Today also, Chris has set up her ball pit and little tunnel. So she's got like a little assault course going on downstairs um which is quite cute so they've been they've been doing a lot of that today uh video calling video calling has been massive for us um for me personally i don't know how we would have got through this i kind of said i look back to my my auntie uh is from a forces family so uh, her husband was in the RAF and my mum really didn't get to see her that much because they were kind of posted all around everywhere when we were kids. And I think back to those days and I think, gosh, the only way that my mum could actually speak to her sister was through a Bluey, which I think sounds quite rude. But it's basically the letters that you send. And that was the only way she'd get to speak to her and, and mum's kept some of them as well, which is really nice to read. We are so lucky that we have things like things like video calling, conference calling, things like YouTube, because this feels like you're having a conversation with other people as well. And that that's, it's helping me massively actually. Um, so the video calls have been so, so brilliant. Holly struggles with them because now I think she's fed up with them. She's a bit sick of seeing people on the screen. Um, she struggles if there's a time delay or, if say somebody else is talking and she's trying to talk over and then it cuts out so she's she's I think she's fed up with it she's kind of had enough of it really now um but for us well for me it's definitely helped if I, I you know if I couldn't speak to my mum or my dad or my brother um all my cousins we had a really nice chat the other week and, and friends it would be so 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 much more difficult than it is so I'm really, really thankful for that. So video calling has been the essential of ours. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, I've got two more. The first one. Uh, we had an incident a couple of weeks ago. Holly was being so, so, so tricky. And she decided that she wanted to do what all toddlers have done. I've done it in the past. And she wanted to draw on the wall. Luckily enough, it was with crayon. Uh, so my second to last lockdown essential for any parent with a toddler would be a magic eraser. Oh my goodness me, did that stuff shift it. So it was incredible. I just wet it um, a little bit and just rubbed it off and it totally came off the wall. I think it maybe cost like, I don't think it was very expensive. I want to say I got it in something like Poundland or, cause don't think it was like even the one that I've got, I don't even think it was the, a branded one. It was just, it came off like a dream. So, you know, all these kids at the moment, especially the younger ones who just can't quite understand this, they're needing to get their aggression and frustration out. And obviously it's coming out in ways like drawing all over the wall. Um, I did message a picture of it to my friend. She was like, well, the circles mean that she's... Oh, what did Mary say? Oh, I can't remember. Something like she's expressive or something. And I was like, well, that's quite that's quite nice to hear. Uh, just wish she wouldn't do it on my wall. But it's come off. It's amazing. So magic eraser. Have it in your cupboard. <laughs> Goodness me. That's been so helpful. And then last but not least, which is something I really, really struggle with, is patience. I'm not a very patient person. Um, I don't think my husband is really that patient. He's probably got more patience than me. But this has really tested our patience and um, 
I think in situations like this, you just have to take a step back and just have some deep breaths. Um, keep telling yourself that this is hopefully going to end. I don't think we will ever be in a situation we were in before, or if we will, it won't be for a long, long, long time. But this will end. I'm, I don't know about anybody else with kids who are also working. I am craving the day. There's lots of rumours going around that says that the government are going to allow people to move in bubbles of 10, like friends or family, which for us would, oh my gosh, would just mean everything because uh, our, our parents can have Holly again, which would mean that I get to work um, without kind of do, just doing my normal days, really. Um, and that would just be incredible because I just feel like there's no downtime for me at the moment. I think what I'm struggling more with is, and I know this is, I find, I feel really bad saying this because there are people who are doing this alone, totally alone, and that I can't imagine how hard that must be. But what I'm finding difficult is that I'm, I'm not getting any time alone. Um, so Chris is brilliant. If, if he knows when I'm getting to breaking point and he'll just be like, go and have a walk, go and spend some time on your own, go upstairs. Um, I've done, I've been using, I'm doing quite a lot of meditation on YouTube actually, and I've been finding that really, really nice and calming. It's calming me into having maybe a bit of a nap as well. Um, so I'll, I'll lie on the bed, I'll get really comfy, I'll put the meditation on and I'll maybe then just drift off and have a little bit of a nap and I wake up and I do genuinely feel better. I mean, I do that once a day, but the days are just mental and crazy and you just sometimes forget, don't you, to take five minutes out for just yourself. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really rooting for that small little thing to be, to happen next week when, um, the lockdown deadline is discussed again. Uh, I understand if it's not because, you know, we, if, and if it's not, we have to do what we have to do, don't we? Um, but yeah, so listen, that was my very waffly video about our lockdown essentials. Comment below if um, you found any of it to be useful or if you've got lockdown essentials or obviously that I maybe have missed out. If I get a lot of comments then maybe I'll do another video on it. Um, if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up, please consider subscribing. Um, a big thank you to everybody who's been so supportive of my channel so far and has subscribed and has watched my videos and has given them thumbs up or, or shared them. Thank you so much, it's really kind of you. And I shall see you soon back for another video. Bye.